All aboard the two line. Approved by voters 16 years ago. Finally, a reality. Sort of. The light rail, the bridge is not ready to go. And so the question was, do we mothball these stations for a year plus and secure them and maintain them? Sound Transit board member Claudia Balducci, a former Bellevue mayor, pushed to open the line with eight stops between downtown and Redmond, but no connection to Seattle as long planned. The opening comes after years of delays and still questions ahead for Sound Transit about whether it can complete the light rail link between the east side and west side in time for the World Cup. Our transit partners are absolutely doing everything they can to, to both be delivering mobility here today and now. The issue came up earlier this week with Seattle World Cup organizing committee members who are counting on the line to deliver hundreds of thousands of visitors to Lumen Field from the east side in 2026. The I-90 link is now a couple years behind schedule after a contractor mishap forced nearly 5,500 concrete blocks to be rebuilt. It's on track as far as I can tell right now for opening in late 2025. What's your level of concern that it's not gonna be done? That's a really good question. I'm pretty confident that we're on track. I couldn't put a number to it. Who's being held accountable uh, for the delays there on I-90? The agency is gonna take a strong position that the taxpayer should not have to pay for uh, errors that were not the agency's fault. But the drop dead date is 2026. This needs to be ready for 2026. But until that train leaves the station, this deliverable might be overshadowed by a taxpayer promise still yet unfulfilled. In Bellevue, Chris Daniels, Como News.